Hey, John. Uh, so, question for you here. Uh, I mean, first, first of all, thank you for guys for coming out to the show here. Thank you. But thank also, you. Uh, so you've got a long history of uh, voicing Optimus Prime in various productions. You know, even going back to just parodies back in the day. So, how did you make the jump from that, from uh, just doing the fan parodies to being in stuff like the Machinima production for Combiner Wars? Like, it just was depends that just a on of auditions. Or? It, it depends on that. Well, that was one of those rare cases that we all love as voice actors or as actors in general, where it's just like, hey, we want to hire you. <laughs> you don't, no audition, no, no. They just come directly to you. That happened with 2K Games. That happened with a few few jobs. Um, so it was, in fact, it was a really weird one um, recently because you never really, you just never really know. You may throw something out there and totally forget about it. Uh, I worked on uh, Warcraft Battle, Battle for Azeroth and did some character, cre some character creature stuff. And I couldn't remember, I remember asking you if I, did I audition for this? And she couldn't remember either. So when I got, and it was all the way in Irvine, which I didn't, at the time, didn't realize it was almost a Comic-Con from here. So I get all the way down there and I was like, how did they, like, did they not tell you how this came about? I was like, oh, you were recording something for us in 2011, seven years ago. <laughs> and I got hired because of something I recorded seven years ago. So you just, you never really know. I've been doing Optimus Prime's voice since I was five. Of course, back then it sounded like, my name is Optimus Prime. You know? <laughs> so I have just I have a very strong connection with the character. I just, I thought he was the, the world's greatest hero. I still think he is. And he just, he give, he's a very positive role model. He, he always tries to do the right thing, you know. So I just had a very strong connection with him. And then on YouTube, I, a friends of mine try to convince me to do toy reviews, which I'm like, I'm not doing that. Why, why look at a toy you could go down the street and look at you for yourself? I was like, I can do a parody version where I make fun of you guys. They're like, yeah, yeah, do that. Make fun of us. So I just, and it, it evolved into Optimus Prime making fun jokes about other toys that weren't Optimus Prime. So it was not that the, it wasn't that the toys were bad. It was just that Optimus Prime only loves Optimus Prime toys, which eventually led to other people saying, hey, you do a great Optimus Prime voice. Would you mind doing this? And then just kind of spread from there. Uh, eventually got to the point where people from Comic-Con knew me because of Honest Trailers, which got me the introduction to Machinima. So it was all about networking really than anything else. If the truth be told about Grodd, uh, the real reason I got that part is because a casting director heard me in a lobby of a studio from ac across the way. So you never and know. came over to me. He gave <laughs> me his awesome. card. It was amazing. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you.